Good morning you guys, welcome to Vlogtober day 29. I am off bright and early to my Pilates class this morning. I was like, why is it so much lighter than the last time I went to my Pilates class? And then I remembered that the clocks had gone back and the hours being dim. I am rather weakly wearing a scarf this morning because it was a bit chilly in the air yesterday. I only wore a leather jacket but it was a bit chilly. And then I woke up this morning like really freezing. So yeah, I'm in the scarf. It's truly nothing compared to what I used to walk through in Edinburgh. Mm, it's a little bit chillier in the past couple of days. So anyway, headed to Pilates, don't really want to go. But I'm going, I'm being good. And then I'm going to go for a run. and today I managed to run for the whole 20 minutes which is good I ran much slower than I usually would so I think that's obviously key I think I need to work on not stopping running and keeping running so I'm just gonna run a bit slower and run for the whole the whole 20 minutes but it was good I felt good about that I think because hip was so horrific yesterday I was like nothing can be worse than that and it wasn't and Pilates was good too tough but I did it and now we are headed back to the house. Also, I have actually got a very exciting deal for you that's running in November to do with my gym, which is called the Hogarth Health Club, by the way. It's in Chiswick. So if you are a West Londoner, you can drive there. Free car park and all of that, if you remember, obviously. But I will talk to you a bit more about that in a minute when I don't look like this. It's good. I'm going to tell you about it in a second. Okay, guys, so I messed up because I was going to my massage at the Lush Spa today. Turns out it's tomorrow. This is classic me. I swear I do this like once a month. Wow, that was really loud. I think I have an appointment on one day. Turns out to be a different day. Sometimes a whole week later. I'm really bad at it. But, um, and you'd think I would learn and double check my dates, but I don't. Anyway, it's tomorrow. Glad I didn't miss it. That's a good thing. So I'm just going to read. There's a million things I could do today, but I'm just like, I'm not going to add to the list that already exists for today. So I'm going to read and then go to my nail appointment. Um, and I could hopefully make some really good headway with the Greenlanders because, like I said yesterday, it's quite a long book. And I am busy-ish on the weekend. Well, yeah, busy on the weekend. So I won't have as much time to read then. I used the Bare Minerals Original Foundation by itself today. I usually use it in combination with the complexion rescue and because you know when you're going well when i thought i was gonna have a massage today and you know when you like have to put your head in the hole and it's like i don't want to take my head away from the hole and like have all my makeup there but at the same time i did want to wear makeup because i am going to be out and about today and i forgot how much i love this found foundation even by itself it's just so nice i just love it so i thought i'd mention that <laughs> also need to tell you about this thing with my gym okay so for the whole of november the joining fee will be cut to 50 pounds um the joining fee is usually quite hefty so that is great and you can get half price off the first month of your membership i love my gym i have been going for almost two years now about six months into my masters i think i started going and it's so nice you can do, I think pretty much all the classes are free with your membership and there's like loads and loads of classes and they have loads of other great stuff, it's got a pool, tennis courts, all that kind of stuff and I often spend time, there's like an adjoining cafe as well which is just useful to have and it's really nice. This is kind of a great deal, it's a lovely gym, it's got a really like personal feel to it, like I feel very much at home in it. Also if you join you can get, I think it's like five free PC sessions when you've signed up and then you get one free one a month forevermore um which is great yeah i just really like it it's just like a cozy homely kind of place for me and it never feels intimidating or scary or whatever love the gym yeah got this deal for you guys if you're interested so yeah so if you want to do that you can't like just sign up straight from the website or anything so if you're interested you can dm me on instagram just give me a full name email address and number so i can pass them on to ambi who i talked to at the hogarth or you can quote jess to the new members team i will leave a link down below so you can see the kind of information and stuff i hope that is relevant to some of you guys any west londoners out there that are looking out for a nice kind of um really well equipped like comfortable gym they got like a whole hit studio and stuff and all that good stuff but yeah you need to do a little tour i think if you want to join 
and all of that good stuff but yes it's a lovely little gym and obviously just so you guys know if you do go through me or mention my name and whatever I will receive like a referral free month I think in the interest of transparency transparency I hope that some of you will make use of that because joining fees nobody likes them hey you wish you ate lunch don't you I wish I ate lunch Do some sounds. <laughs> what are you looking at? There's nothing there. There's nothing there. I can smell these mushrooms from four floors up. Just ruined Zach's chef-like presentation of this pasta <laughs> by starting to eat it. But it's mushroom pasta and it tastes amazing. Hey, my loves, I didn't actually end up doing any editing because um, I ended up doing just admin emails, worky bits. And also, crazy how that sort of stuff just fills up time. I was like, where has two hours gone? And then I obviously ate lunch. Now I'm going to head to my pedicure. It's going to be nothing special. I'm probably going to get a very similar colour again. But I just need them sorting out because they're chipping a little bit, peeling off. Um, I always get shellac pedicures because they last for like two months or something um maybe not that long but quite a long time <laughs> um so yeah ended up just doing some work bits i also did a lot of stuff that i keep doing for the past like few days or maybe even a week or whatever i keep doing it at like nine to ten like sorting out posting and all that sort of stuff so everything is sorted so hopefully this evening i can not do all that, those kind of ad mini bits so that'll be good but anyway off to my pedicure so this is me and my shiny new pink toes you guys i thought i was going to do a dark color but i ended up doing a nudie pink what do you know <laughs> oh i can feel a nap coming on you guys you know when you have like a slower day than usual and got a relatively early this morning and I'm just thinking, oh, I can feel the nap behind my eyes. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some reading in bed anyway. I have to accompany Zach to the today because um, he needs to get some drops in his eyes. It's going to possibly make him a bit blind. So <laughs> I'm going to do that in a bit. But for now, I'm going to just do some reading. My wisdom tooth is really bothering me. It's the one on my left side this time. I can't remember. Do you, do you guys remember in... I think it was a vlogmas one year. My whole right like side of my mouth like swelled up, swelled up. It's got an infection. When you have a wisdom tooth, you often have like a flap of gum on top of the tooth, and it can basically get infected under there relatively easily. I think it's quite common. So yeah, it was usually my right side, and I still get pain on my right side occasionally, especially when I'm stressed or tired, um, or I've been drinking too much or something like that. But I think I've actually got an infection on this side because it's really quite tender and painful and sore. Either that or it's moving. And the last time I went to someone to actually look at my wisdom teeth properly, they said, if the left one starts moving or starts bothering you, then you have to come back. We're not gonna remove the right one because you've actually technically got the space for it. And I was like, can you not just remove the gum on top so that we don't have this infection problem? But apparently not. But the left one we need to be a bit more concerned about because it's facing in towards my teeth so obviously it's got nowhere to go so it can't come up normally and naturally like the one on my right side can that's not ideal i think like it was been bothering me for a couple of days and i was like whatever it's like not so bad i think it'll go away i thought it's because maybe i it could be because i'm a bit stressed that's why i've got the infection in the first place or i've been eating not as healthy as normal or something like that but whatever it is anyway it's bothering me for a couple of days, but today it's actually particularly painful. I feel like it's getting worse. And I should probably get some anti antibiotics. <laughs> I can't speak. Antibiotics before I end up with a chipmunk jaw. But it's just so much effort. <laughs> so, so, so Zach's just had drops put in his eyes, and they take about half an hour to work. Um, and then he can have his eye test. So we are just exploring Whole Foods in the meantime, and Zach just trying to heal picture of me but he is struggling to see close up in a big big way. Are you going to be okay getting off that? <laughs> okay. So yeah, we'll have a little wander around the whole He can't resist a juice, this man. He loveth the juice. Don't you, Zeki? Hi, my lovely people. I am back from the opticians and I did something naughty. I may have bought some glasses for myself. But that is because they looked cute. Um, and I want to wear my glasses more. The ones I currently have 
the Giorgio Armani ones, I didn't get thin enough lenses and so they kind of make my eyes look a bit small because I have a minus five prescription in my right eye. So they're quite thick lenses and yeah, I think they make my eyes look a bit small. And I do really like the look of them, but anyway, I thought I would just get another pair. Uh, I have so many pairs of sunglasses, not that many pair of pairs of glasses, so I need to start wearing them out and about more really. Maybe I'll wear my other ones tomorrow. The only problem I find with glasses actually, the reason I don't wear them as much sometimes is because I like to wear my contacts when I'm exercising. I'm going to do some more reading. I think I will talk you guys through a little bit how I do my book notes. Now it's kind of difficult to describe how I do, how I write my book notes and for what reasons. Usually there's no rhyme or reason, I just kind of write down whatever comes to me. I did write about it a little bit on my blog, so I'm going to read out what I said on there because I feel like I said it in a slightly better way. Let me find it a minute. But I will kind of just try and give you like a real-time version of me writing the notes. Okay, I said, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what I write notes on because I think it must be a very personal thing. It surely must depend on what interests you. Generally, I'm looking out for the same things I looked out for when studying literature, though on a smaller and less detailed scale. Issues of gender, race, class, sexuality, ability, religion, nature and ecology and science, relationships between the parent and child, relationships in general, depictions of non-life or non-human life, um, how power works in the novel, instances of violence, so how power and violence interact as well often. Um, what's the kind of ideology behind the book? Is it humanist, Marxist, eco? Um, does it have a, a questionable ideology, which is how I felt kind of about mother's milk? What is it saying, but also what is it not saying on purpose or otherwise, whether the author knows what it's not saying? I also note down key points, so when a main character dies, I'll note down the page number. I always note down page numbers so that I could skip straight to that bit should I ever need it in the future. Um, pivotal moments or like new things I'll usually note them down like if there's like a new era um, particularly in a novel like the Greenlanders where there's you know pivotal parts of the book where things change or shift significantly I'll kind of just write the page numbers down for that I'll also note anything significant about the style of writing character development the form the genre or the historic historical period to which the novel might refer and how this relates to when it was written and of course how any of these things might relate to its themes um, sometimes I take down whole quotes not often because it does take a while to write out recurring imagery and vocab if there's lots of natural imagery or tree imagery or something. Well, that's everything I said in my blog post. Let me have a look at my notes thus far on the Greenlanders. Because of the grand scope of this novel, this and the kind of style of it, which is saga style, there has been less kind of specific linguistic things I can pick out apart from the form and style as a whole. So I'm mostly noting down just kind of plot things to help me ground myself in the plot and not forget it immediately. I've got a little bit here about the novel's relationship to gender, I've got a couple of strong women. Yeah, I'm going to try and do you a little real time of notes. I won't write notes on every page, this isn't that kind of book. But if I write, if I write anything down, I will stop and let you know. Guys, obviously this is not going to make much sense to you because you have, a lot of you probably haven't read the Greenlanders. But anyway, there's something going on with religion in this book and the way it is kind of imposing on the lives of the Greenlanders. And so I picked up on this quote here, farmers of Greenland pay great attention to the wealth of the earth but little to the riches of heaven. And their relation to the natural world is obviously very precarious because Greenland is not the most um, easy place to live, especially at this time of in history or whatever. So yeah, I'm interested in this kind of natural verses religious imagery especially with regard to the Skraelings as well who are different from the Greenlanders but anyway so I'm going to write this quote down um, if you can see here I wrote somewhere here um, a couple of the main characters sorry this isn't really a spoiler because it happens fairly early um, a couple of the main characters in the main family die and one is kind of as a result of a monk and one is kind of as a result of the bishop so yeah there's something going on there so I am going to put that quote in and I'm going to note down the page number wherever that may be. Mimi's come to visit me which she rarely does these days because of the old joints getting a bit painful for her but I think she's good at the fireworks so she's come to visit. Okay next note the women have a really important role in this book um, you can see here I have written Brigitte and Helga and Margaret 
are all strong women families upside down because in this kind of more traditional society their strong headedness is unusual well not that unusual it doesn't seem to me but they're particularly independent but yeah and this is true of smiley in general i noted that with a thousand acres that was very much like a feminist novel i would have said so anyway i'm gonna note how the women often make kind of well Bagita has visions and margaret often makes statements that end up coming true in this case i don't know if it's true yet but i assume it's going to be she says my schooly you've thrown away your luck for it seems to me that this gray horse will be your death so i'm gonna write um, something about the relationship between women and the future which also relates to their ability to bear children and continue lineage obviously yeah and maybe men and death or violence or something something is happening along those lines I think hello pets galore hello. curry for dinner guys at need smells nice Crete is making we've been tempted by bake-off and Crete is making banana bread with these old bananas that we have which is one of my faves so she's getting on her baking gloves <laughs> and she's baking and this cat looks immensely uncomfortable what is this look hmm? so guys I'm back upstairs I didn't show you the banana bread but it was delicious um, and he's a really good baker I I'm just getting back to my book. By the way, if you're conf confused about these glasses, which are not the ones I normally wear, they're the first ones I could find on my bedside table. They're my old Paul Smith ones. You might remember them from vlogs long past. They're actually the wrong prescription. They are, yes, a little bit weaker than my current ones when my eyes were a little bit better. But anyway, I'm back to doing some notes and stuff. I'm sorry if you're gonna read The Greenlanders, by the way, guys, I'm spoiling it up to a certain point. But anyway, in, in case of this page, Something kind of important is happening here. There's a murder going on. I feel like it's going to be pivotal to a change in the scenery of the book and the vibe of the book um, and the family's life. So I am going to note down that um, on 125, this person loses their life. <laughs> um, so that's another kind of note that I would write. Um, if you're wondering how I'd like figure out what to pick out of pages and stuff it's really just whatever occurs to me first I think it's sheer practice from doing a lot of this sort of note taking at uni it's just being kind of heightened having heightened awareness for things that you're interested in basically okay a final note you guys because I imagine that this is probably not very exciting um, and kind of obvious but I am following this red silk which um, came originally from a boat and then it went to a particular man then it came into this family and then it's kind of sort of kind of caused the downfall of one of the major female characters so I feel like the red silk is like symbolic of stuff so I'm kind of following it and noting it down when it appears. I hope that made any sort of sense especially I know lots of you guys haven't read this book so it's probably probably hasn't made a lot of sense but I <laughs> hope that it's been helpful in some way um you guys often ask me how I write my book notes so I thought I would do that for you today before Vlogtober ends I wanted to do it originally um at like a desk and do it all properly and officially and formally but desk situation is not ideal at the moment yeah I don't really have like a big table I can really sit at at the moment so I will maybe do that for you in the future if you are interested and I can do like a proper walkthrough of a few pages as I'm writing notes. I'll choose, I'd choose a particularly noty book I think, like something I'd write a lot of notes on. Uh, Greenlanders is not something I would, I'm writing hefty notes for or anything but yeah. So let me know if you'd like to see that, if you wouldn't like to see that then I completely understand. <laughs> it's not very exciting. Um, but yeah, I write notes. If you guys didn't know, I write notes so that I can write halfway decent reviews. I am actually really behind on my blog written reviews. I have written some, but I haven't like finished each um, separate month. That is something I will do in November, I think. But um, yeah, so I can write half decent reviews, speak half decently about the books in videos because I am documenting everything I'm reading all the time for you guys, because I love doing it. 
Uh, and it also keeps my mind alive and my brain working uh, so I don't lose some of my kind of analytical mind. Um, and I personally have always found it more interesting. I always love books more once I've analysed them. I know that's not the case for everyone, but it's always appealed to me to kind of understand the inner workings of a book. So yes, that's why I do it. There might be more answers to that on my reading Q&A on my blog, which I will leave a link to down below if you are interested in hearing more from me on that. But yeah, I'm just going to keep reading now until I go to bed, basically. Until I go to sleep, even. Um, Zach's out tonight, so yeah, I'm just going to have a nice, chill night doing some reading. Then tomorrow, um, I'm going to go to a PT session in the morning, and then obviously I've got my massage that I thought I was having today. And then hopefully we'll get started on the house. There are a few chores and bits and bobs that are piling up, though, so I can feel like the house um, transformation is just slipping through my fingers but we will do it, we will do it you guys, I promise. But thank you so much for watching today and I will see you again tomorrow, bye!